actually moving away and Ailish McCulgan might just decide right this is a race between myself and Laura Whittle for second here as they come round with one lap to go they'll hear the bell Eleanor Kirk just trying to get closer back to those two or the three of them if you like it's step 12 with a three four meter lead Laura Whittle just picks it up again Paula and Ailish under a bit of pressure yeah, I mean, I think Steph has this under control. You can see that in her face. Laura Whittle trying to find a little bit more. She knows she has the danger of Ailish McCulgan sitting on her. These two had this battle at the race in Stanford earlier this year and Steph changed places a couple of times in the last lap there as well. So this race is not over yet. And there are those long legs of Ailish McCulgan. I said when she gets moving, she's pretty quick, Ailish. And now she's chasing down Steph 12. Laura Whittle, no response from her. So... The two athletes who both, of course, represented Scotland, Step 12, famously in the Commonwealth Games, winning a medal in Delhi, two medals, and Ailish McCulgan now, sensing that maybe she can run Step 12 down. So these two, though, have pulled well clear of Laura Whittle, but Step 12 has just saved a little bit extra, so Ailish McCulgan checks behind, no danger there. It's going to be victory, perhaps as expected for Step 12. She will be the UK champion, a great return for her. She's going to Rio. She'll be joined by Ailish McColgan. 2.48 for the last kilometre. Really did pick up very, very quickly indeed. And they did what they had to do. Laura Whittle, the one to lose out in terms of automatic selection, but she finished third, as Paula said. That might still be good enough for her, but she will have to wait because the other two now know. And... Uh, I think it's a great story for Steph Twell, isn't it?